what's up guys I'm doing a uh, super update video which is kind of an update for the whole car you know um, so as you guys saw in my last video I'm changing my turbos my turbo manifold my whole, my whole turbo uh, setup and I actually have that have everything off I sold it I sold the uh, manifold I sold the turbo um, and I picked up a new turbo which is in here This new turbo. <clears throat> so I went with a ball bearing um, divided precision 6466 turbo. Um, I mean, it looks pretty much the same as the old turbo, but it, uh, yeah, so it's ball bearing and it's divided so I can run twin scroll manifold. Um, so that should be good. So I, that should net me some uh, higher, you know, better numbers, better um, spool time. Uh, earlier in the RPM and the exhaust housing is a little bit bigger so uh, 1.0 AR so that should you know give me some top end to um, my old one was like maybe like a 0 0.96 point and that was 0 0.84 um, it was it was a smaller AR um, so I'm kind of hoping that the uh, ball bearing and the twin scroll and the new manifold will um, save me any spool time that I lose uh, going with the bigger uh, AR ratio and the exhaust housing um, while picking up you know the top end if that makes sense and the reason why I switched the turbos uh, the 6266 is a good turbo it's a, it's a really good entry level turbo but I plan on running pump gas and in order to make the numbers I want to make um, on pump gas pump gas definitely limits you you need to kind of need to build the car uh, very like efficiently if that makes sense um, you need to get as much horsepower as a pump gas as you can. That's definitely my goal. Um, and if I ever went to E85, which I, I plan on putting a flex fuel sensor on this, it's you know it's good to have the good stuff. Um, like I said, I I went with the uh, aftermarket intake manifold and you know all that, that whole setup. So might as well um, go with a tubular manifold, twin scroll, you know, good turbo, all that good stuff. And I'm also going with. So here's my precision 46 millimeter wastegate. I'm going with a twin wastegate setup for the new manifold. Um, the twin wastegate setup, the cool thing about the twin wastegate setup is that you have uh, higher control of your uh, limiting your boost. You won't get um, boost surge, and it's um, it's it's really it's a true twin scroll setup with the uh, twin wastegates. Um, a lot of people argue that even if you have a uh, a twin scroll setup so you have a divided manifold uh, it's not really true twin scroll if it's just one gate because when it opens up it conjoins them together and whatnot there's a lot of debate over that um, I just went with the twin scroll setup because I personally think if I run a, if I go to run higher boost in the future um, I'd rather have two waste gates to regulate that boost and not get and not, not boost surge boost creep um, control the boost better with the two gates yeah, so I also got the uh, four-inch exhaust going on, um, and I, I'm gonna have to modify that. Um, probably bring it to a welder or something, and um, have them uh, fabricate some stuff to make it all fit. Um, the downpipe right here. So the downpipe is it's a straight downpipe. If that makes sense, it's not angled. It's not designed for a uh, turbo manifold that puts the turbo on an angle and that's actually um that's good because i ordered a manifold that was angled um and it was specced out to someone else someone else had it custom made i didn't realize it was an open box manifold so i got a good price on it but when i went to put it on it just wouldn't fit um the, I don't know what car it was made for. I mean, obviously it's made for two Jay-Z said it was made for a Supra, but it uh, I had to freak slice off a hanger thing I'm not using and do some modification and the tube just would not fit. Maybe I can put up a picture for you guys. Um, so yeah, I had to return that. And I think the manifold I'm gonna be going with is a um, ETS uh, manifold. And the reason why I'm going with that is because the ETS manifold holds the turbo straight uh, to the engine, doesn't angle it, which I'm hoping the uh, downpipe will work with that since it's not angled and I won't have to get the downpipe all cut up and whatnot. Now, like I said, I am going to have to have the downpipe modified. I got this right here. 
What this is, this um, converts four inch exhaust to three and five eighths uh, V-band flange for the exhaust housing on a precision turbo. So I'm gonna get this welded on, something like that. Um, and yeah, hopefully it'll uh, all work out. So I'll bolt this onto the turbo and I'll have that connect to the mid pipe, which I don't have to, I don't have to modify the front part of the mid pipe, um, but I will have to modify the back part of the mid pipe and the front part of the cat back. Kind of confusing, but um, I'm gonna have to get some stuff modified for it's all fit, but you know, shouldn't be too big of a deal, hopefully. And yeah, so that's kind of the deal right now. I, I returned my manifold. That's that's kind of been the hold up. Um, that's how it is, is uh, buying parts. You know, it's just stuff goes wrong and some stuff doesn't fit and you have to wait and, you know, it takes a while, um, but it'll all be worth it in the end. So, um, not too stressed about it. Like I said, I'm gonna begin the ETS manifold hopefully by next week and I'll, I'll bolt that on um, with the turbo and I'll test fit the downpipe, finally bring the downpipe to a shop uh, in the cat back, have that modified and hopefully throw that all together. And the next step is ordering an intercooler. Um, so yeah, probably inter order an intercooler and get that all done, hook that up. Um, so definitely a lot of stuff um, coming to the Super. Like I said, this winter I really wanna get a lot of stuff done. Um, the engine bay should look really nice with this new manifold, new turbo, new twin uh, gates. It's gonna look really cool. So pretty excited about that. Now. As far as, speaking of the engine bay, uh, looking cool. So as you guys know, I, uh, I, pl I planned on extending my engine bay wiring harness, uh, particularly the fuse box uh, into the um, trunk, and also relocating the battery, which I have to do with the new intake manifold. Um, and I've kind of put some thought into that. Now wiring, wiring's a sketchy thing, you know. Um, it's not like, <clears throat> you know you, you have a leak and it's very you can clearly see the leak or you, you know you mess up and um, it's, it's it's a little like I know for my my personal job that's a little more um, it's it's more problematic and it's a little bit more uh, you know it's it's harder to find the issues in my experience and I, I I put some thought into it and I think honestly when the car is running I'm gonna bring it to a professional shop and have them probably shave the engine bay, the sides of the engine bay, and maybe have that repainted. Um, like I said, I, I'm happy with how this came out, but I, I really would like to get it shaved. So in other words, get everything smoothed out. Um, and also have the wiring harness professionally tucked and extended to the back. I just feel more comfortable having the uh, wiring harness professionally done um, and having it all tucked and having it neat. Uh, regardless of what I end up doing, um, it's definitely going to come out really nice. Uh, it's going to be a, I want it to be a really clean engine bay, and I, I want it to be really easy to work on, uh, which so far it has. I mean, I can, I can, you know, reach around this thing. I can literally crawl in the engine bay right now. Not, not everything's in there, but it's a pretty open engine. It's a big engine bay, so you know, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Now the interior, I haven't really done anything to the interior in a while. Uh, I've been focusing on kind of getting the car running and driving but I did completely clean out the interior it doesn't look clean right now but what I mean by that is I stripped out the interior I got rid of my carpet um, this car is actually originally a tan interior car which is pretty cool uh, but the the thing that isn't pretty cool about it is that the previous one of the previous owners actually spray painted the carpet black um, which is why when I took my seats out there was tan marks underneath it um, so I just I didn't really want to you know it's you could tell it was painted it was the, the fabric and it just it, it wasn't good um, and the car was sitting outside the seals leak so the carpet got kind of wet and I just uh, I got rid of it I'm gonna get a new carpet you can still get new carpets you can get them imported or you can buy brand new ones that aren't factory I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet but um, I also took out I pretty much took everything out of the interior as far as like the you know dash panels and whatnot and the carpet whole center console all the back all the back um, foam inserts all that's all that's all being uh, stored away 
some carpet right here. And I cleaned the whole car out. Um, so, yeah, I kind of wanted the car gutted. Yeah. The <coughs> bottom part. Just in case I decided to run the wiring harness, extend it. Or, you know, just in case I need to crawl in there. I'm not, you know, going to be removing dash panels every time. I can just kind of crawl in there and I can access the firewall and whatnot, feeding stuff through. So, I'm going to be focusing on the interior when the car's close to done as far as, you know, the engine and drive train are concerned. Um, i trying to think if I'm missing. I don't think I'm really missing anything. So, yeah, the, um, to sum it up, I'm waiting for a new manifold and I can put the turbo on, put the waste gates on, um, and then, you know, get my uh, exhaust welded up, get it modified, put that on, get some dump tubes, and get this whole side of the car done. Um, and then get the intercooler, hook the intercooler up, and then I'll probably go with the radiator after that. Um, I'm gonna go with the IS300 radiator. Uh, they make like a radiator shroud kit for the Supra. It has electric fans instead of the uh, fan that goes on the, um, the mechanically operated fan. And that'll be cool because that'll really open up the engine in front of it. Um, you have a lot of space in front of the engine. You can literally look right down. Whereas like a stock Supra, you have like a fan shroud that covers here. It's like a huge blade. So um, I'm gonna be going with the electric fans. The electric fans are actually more efficient too. Uh, which is cool so yeah I'm gonna be doing that um, I'll do a video on the drive-by wire kit for the uh, for the Supra that's that's a really cool thing um, converting the Supra from drive-by cable to drive-by wire I really don't see any like videos on that on YouTube and I'll do a video on the IS 300 radiator too um, those are kind of new parts to the scene and like I said I'm, I'm all about using the new parts I think it's really cool uh, taking a car that's I mean this car's 23 years old and um you know using it's it's really cool that they're still putting out uh new aftermarket support for it um so you know i'm trying to use, like i said use the t56 magnum kit and I'm, I'm trying to really um build a supra that's you know using all the new stuff i just think that's really cool um so yeah that's my uh super update um waiting for the manifold and turbo and I can get this thing cracking, and get this thing rolling um, so make sure you're subscribed I'm gonna be doing some more videos uh, like I said I'm trying to do some I'm gonna be doing update videos but I'm also trying to do videos that appeal to um, other people that aren't normally subscribed so like you know like um, testing out parts and just like general videos that people like to watch I'm gonna be uploading a uh, coil over video for my IS300 it was making a sound uh, from the coilovers is rattling on my daily driver and um, that's a really common issue with coilovers so I'm gonna I made a video on that on how I fixed it and what was actually wrong it's actually pretty crazy what was wrong um, and those are the same coilovers that are on the Supra so you know they're all time <coughs> street flex coilovers so uh, yeah make sure you guys are subscribed and yeah got a lot more videos to come thanks for watching